Hey guys, RupDead here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we got our asses handed to us by the Luka Goers in a game of Blitzball. And yeah, not exactly the most exciting episode. In this episode, Waka's apparently exhausted from his final game. Sorry I couldn't win it for you, Waka man, but... <sighs> Damn those Goers. But we are going to go console Waka. We tried our best. Yeah, he's okay. Which is good. Uh oh, screaming. Uh what the hell? There's fiends in the sphere pool. Where the hell did these things come from? So, yes, we're gonna kick things off with a couple of battles here. With Sahagin Chiefs. Which are vulnerable to lightning. Um, let me check real quick. Well, I do have. Nah, I'll keep the Brotherhood on. Yes. Yeah, you can switch weapons in the middle of a battle in case you didn't know that. But anyway, these are kind of along the same lines as um those Sahagans we fought all the way back near the beginning of the game. That is to say, they're not exactly too much of a threat. They're just more annoying than anything else. I am, um, you know, since we're going to be shifting through battles here, I'm not going to use cheer. I don't know, because I don't know if the buff is going to carry over. I'm probably wrong on that, but still, I don't really feel I need cheer to take these things out. So we're going to swim forth through the sphere pool, Got get three more. Only time you ever get to actually fight within the sphere pool, which I really... I just kind of find it, yeah, find it kind of interesting that you're actually fighting in the sphere pool. It's just, I don't know why, but it just seems interesting to me. And as you can plainly see, these things cannot hit the broadside of a barn, and I'm going to overkill that one. And two more are going to come take its place. Yeah, you are actually fighting a lot of these in a large group. So they are going to be swapping in and out of the sphere pool whenever you kill some off. Like, right now, for instance, we've got another one coming in. Luckily, these things have pretty piss-poor accuracy, for the most part. Uh, die. So, we are going to kill this guy, and now we are free to advance even further. Yeah, again, I am recording a ton of episodes in advance because this Friday, in terms of when I'm recording this, I am getting teeth pulled, so I'm not going to be able to talk for about a month. And I am currently in the middle of Hurricane Sandy, which is luckily dying down. So, my entire family is home today, so there is a, probably going to be a bit of background noise. I do apologize for it, but I love my family. And luckily, not, yeah, I guess I probably didn't mention in the last episode, but... My my family and I, we are all okay. Uh, we weren't we live up in northern Ohio, so we weren't really in the heart of the hurricane or anything. And I do send I know this is gonna be late getting out there in terms of when I do upload this, but I do send my condolences out to everyone who was caught in the middle of Hurricane Sandy on the east coast and in New York and New Jersey and all of those areas. I do hope the recovery goes quickly for all of you, and hopefully you and your loved ones are all okay, and by the, yeah, by the time this goes up, Hurricane Sandy will probably be a distant memory, but yeah, just very bad timing for this stupid storm. As I continue to slay more Sahagin Chiefs, and we are just about done with this, so... And another critical hit from Waka, and we are done! Thank God, I'm sick of dealing with these things already. But, there's chaos in the crowd, so we need to get our asses out of the Sphere Pool now. Gonna gain a couple of brief Sphere levels, gonna pick up a couple of Power Spheres for the Sphere Grid, and then, off we go. So, uh, long pause here, and, oh. 
You really want to know what's happening? Sin is somewhere nearby, apparently, and fiends are attacking. Unfortunately, you don't get to fight with Lulu, Kimari, or Yuna, which is kind of sad, but we do get to fight once more with Mr. Badass here, Auron. He's just going to toss off part of his coat, stare this thing down like a boss, and let's get a timer going. One, two, three, four. Four seconds and this thing is dead. Yeah, that didn't take long. So he's just going to start walking off and, but well, wait a minute. We found Orin finally. And now we get a little party comprised of Titus, or whatever you name your main character, Waka and Orin to fight this familiar looking SOB. Yeah, we have a Garuda with quite a bit more HP than the ones on Besaid Isle, if I recall correctly. Anyway, I am going to use Cheer to try and make this battle go just a little bit faster. Dark Attack is, as before, is always recommended, so this thing basically misses, except when it uses Sonic Boom. Or maybe when it uses Sonic Boom, too. Um, again, Orange still has Power Break, and he can just do regular attacks, which... Boom. I'm going to use a second Cheer to further speed this up. This thing's going to use Sonic Boom again, and completely miss. Going to hit this thing with Waka's Ball. Orin's going to take a nice chunk out of this thing's HP. Those were up that. And... Oh, no dice. So it's counter-attack missed, and it's Sonic Boom is going to hit somebody. I didn't see who. I don't really need to use another dark attack. Um, because... Uh, not dead yet. Maybe I should use another dark attack. Oh, no, never mind. And Orin gets the kill shot. Goodbye, Garuda, as it falls to oblivion or whatever. So we're going to get a couple of three levels of one except for Orin. And ooh, we get ourselves a Bright Bracer. I'll have to look, I'll have to look at that um, as soon as everything clears up here. But we have more fiends. No, we are not having to fight these guys, luckily. Oh, don't worry, Rup, that video game version of me. You're getting your break. Courtesy of a guy that I said I knew right off the bat I probably wasn't going to like. But I am going to thank Maester Seymour right now because of this. Honestly, this is probably one of the creepiest and yet coolest looking Aeon summons, in my personal opinion. That is Seymour's Aeon, Anima. Do you want to meet that thing in a dark alleyway at night? I didn't think so. Especially when it can do this. He's a far in his lasers and obliterating all the fiends. This just shows you the raw, awesome power that Anima possesses. Simply destroying every fiend. Destroy all of the fiends. Okay, I'm going to try not so much to borrow quotes from other Let's Players till I become more well-known, but you can't blame me for trying to think of something. And look at that smug smile on Seymour's face. As the world is now going to praise Seymour, he saved everybody. Huzzah! Still don't like the guy, though. Do I want to save my current game? Why, yes, I would like to save my current game. Um, Kind of about ten minutes into the recording. I think I can go a little longer. So, yes... You're really leaving, Captain? This scene would change Shouldn't if I had won the game. First. Walk would be holding the you crystal cup instead of that blitz ball. 
But that's the only real difference. Yeah, but... Come on, look sharp. Otherwise, this cutscene does not change whatsoever. The season just started. This is the Don't start of the blitz spaces, season? Yeah? Take my ball. Cherish it forever. Well, see ya, boys. I always thought that was kind of be good. sounded awkward when he said it. Uh, I can't hear you, Captain. Well, they're certainly happy. I know one person, however, who is not happy, but we'll be seeing him in a sure? very short while. Never liked long goodbyes anyway. Sorry for making you wait, Yuna. I have some promises to keep, yeah? From now on, I'm your full-time guardian. Hooray for you, Waka. Back. Sir Waka. He never left to begin good with. To you with us. Hey. It's good to be back, yeah? He never left in the first place. In uh any event. So any news on what happened? Not really. We don't know where the fiends came from. Sin. Maester Micah is safe and sound, thanks to Maester Seymour. Because the whole world's got to revolve around Seymour. Maester Seymour's Aeon. It was so powerful. Now, on the subject of people who are actually unhappy, down by the docks. Hey, you! Don't just stand there. All of this is your fault. Getting swallowed by sin, ending up here in Spira, not being able to go back to Xanark, and everything, everything! Somebody's pissed. I'm telling you, it's all your fault. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's going to laugh. Who are you, anyway? That's a good question. You knew my old man, didn't you? Yeah. And you also knew Yuna's father? That's correct. Hey man, there's no way. That's just impossible. Nothing impossible about it. We'll learn more about that Jack, later, don't worry. Asuka and I. Together we defeated Sin ten years ago. Then I went to Xanarkin. Where I watched over you. Did we really so need watching over? I could bring you to Spira. Then again, now that I think about it. Why did it have to be me? Jack asked me to. Of course! The old man that we hate! Is he alive? It depends on what you mean by alive. He is no longer human. And what exactly but do you mean by that? I felt something object there in that shell, couldn't you? You must have felt him. When you came in contact with Sin. It can't be. And it's now quiet so quiet you can hear a pin drop. Sin is checked. Plot twist. Uh, no, that's ridiculous. No way. I don't believe you. It is kind of hard to believe. But it is the truth. You'll see for yourself. Come with me. If I say no? Every story must have an ending. I don't care about your stories! What a shame. I like a good story. I see. Sorry you feel that way. I'm sorry you drug me Fine. into this, Auron. Come or don't come, it's your decision. Is it really? What am I supposed to say? You tell me it's my decision. But I don't have a choice, do I? You're the only one who can tell me what's going on anyways. I have to go with you. I have to. I do have a point, Auron. Well, my video game kind of part anyway. I know. I'm not. What about him? What do you say? Are you afraid? It's all right. Gee, thanks. All right. Will I ever 
go home? Back to Xanarkin? Good question. That's up to Jekt. Really? I'm going to offer my services to Yuna. Come. So yeah, now we get to follow behind Orin. I don't need to get any of the items here on the docks, I already got them. But yeah, we just have to follow Orin now. But yeah, typical cryptic Final Fantasy stuff that ultimately becomes unveiled later on down the road. But um, I'm going to keep this episode at a reasonable length, so I'm going to stop here. And thank you guys for watching. And next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X, we are going to continue following Orin. And I guess leave Luca, maybe. I will see you guys then.